A couple from northwest Arkansas is on their way home after escaping Ukraine with their newborn baby amid the Russian invasion. Uh, that war started just days after their surrogate gave birth. News on 6's Ashlyn Brothers has their story tonight at 9 o'clock. Ashlyn. Shannon, Jacob and Jesse Bachman were concerned about rising tensions between Russia and Ukraine, but say it was almost eerie how normal things felt even hours before the invasion. The Bachmans were at a hospital in Kyiv where a surrogate had just given birth to their baby girl. I woke up at 6 a.m. and I heard um, distant explosions and I immediately got up on the windowsill. We were at the maternity hospital. Maternity hospital on the first floor. They left the city, but what was meant to be a seven hour trip to the U.S. Embassy turned into a 27 hour ordeal. As we were driving out of the city, we saw the city in panic. They had to walk the final eight miles to the Polish border. Jesse held baby Vivian while Jacob carried the bags. The baby was wrapped under blankets and my two jackets. At the border, thousands of people pushed to get through the gates. Women were screaming, let us across, let us across. So you saw so many families forced to say goodbye, tearing like the women and the children away from the men and, and, the, and the border guards are, are, are physically like holding fathers and brothers and husbands back, keeping them from being able to cross with their family, tell them to turn around and go fight. Jesse says they made it halfway through the crowd when a man noticed the newborn. She has a baby that's four days old. Let her pass. And he started pushing the people in front of me. Jesse went on to wait in line for customs, but it would be 12 hours before she saw or heard from her husband. Jacob says the border guard wouldn't budge, claiming his passport was fake. When things were kind of the bleakest for me, I had sent a text to my parents and I said, I need prayer and said I'm going to make it across. Jacob says with the help of the U.S. Embassy, Arkansas reps and the power of prayer, he made it through to his family. But they worry about Vivian's surrogate mother and all who helped them get home. There's a lot of guilt in that. The Bachmans will return to the United States tomorrow. Ashland Brothers, Oklahoma Zone, News on 6.